In this podcast episode, Dr. Mark Hyman welcomes Dr. Elizabeth Boham, a longtime colleague and expert in functional medicine, to discuss the often misunderstood condition of histamine intolerance. This condition, characterized by a range of symptoms that can significantly impact quality of life, is frequently overlooked in traditional medical settings. Dr. Boehm emphasizes that histamine intolerance is not a lifelong condition. Rather, it is essential to identify the underlying triggers that lead to these symptoms. Histamine is a chemical produced by the immune system, primarily by mast cells, which are found throughout the body, including the gut, skin, and nasal passages. It plays a crucial role in the body's defense against pathogens and allergens. However, when histamine levels become imbalanced, either due to excessive production or inadequate breakdown, individuals can experience a range of symptoms. These can include migraines, nasal congestion, rashes, digestive issues, and even anxiety. Dr. Boham notes that histamine intolerance can manifest in various ways, from mild food sensitivities to more severe conditions like mast cell activation syndrome. Dr. Boehm shares a compelling case study of a 39-year-old woman who had been suffering from debilitating migraines for 15 years. The onset of her symptoms coincided with increased stress at work, highlighting the connection between stress and histamine intolerance. The patient experienced not only migraines, but also nasal congestion and rashes, which led Dr. Boham to suspect histamine as a contributing factor. Upon further investigation, it was revealed that the patient's symptoms worsened around her menstrual cycle, indicating a potential link between hormonal fluctuations and histamine intolerance. Dr. Boham implemented a low histamine diet and introduced supplements such as diamine oxidase to help the patient break down histamine more effectively. Remarkably, within weeks, the patient reported a significant reduction in migraine frequency and intensity. A critical aspect of the discussion revolves around the relationship between hormones, particularly estrogen, and histamine intolerance. Dr. Boehm explains that elevated estrogen levels can inhibit the breakdown of histamine, leading to increased sensitivity. This is particularly relevant for women experiencing hormonal fluctuations during their menstrual cycle or perimenopause. In the case of the patient, Dr. Boehm assessed her estrogen metabolism and found that she was not effectively breaking down estrogen, which contributed to her symptoms. By incorporating supplements like sulforaphane from cruciferous vegetables and calcium D-glucarate, Dr. Boehm aimed to enhance estrogen metabolism and reduce the overall histamine response. Dr. Boehm emphasizes the importance of gut health in managing histamine intolerance. An imbalance in the gut microbiome, known as dysbiosis, can lead to increased histamine production and decreased levels of diamine oxidase, the enzyme responsible for breaking down histamine. The patient's stool tests revealed elevated levels of beta-glucuronidase, an enzyme that can allow estrogen to be reabsorbed into the body, exacerbating her symptoms. To address these issues, Dr. Boham focused on healing the gut through dietary changes, targeted supplements, and potentially the use of specific probiotics that are less likely to produce histamine. This multifaceted approach not only aimed to alleviate the patient's immediate symptoms, but also sought to restore balance to her gut microbiome. The podcast highlights the functional medicine approach, which seeks to understand the root causes of health issues rather than merely treating symptoms. Dr. Boham stresses the importance of a comprehensive evaluation including dietary habits, stress levels, and environmental factors to identify triggers for histamine intolerance. In the case of the patient, lifestyle modifications, including stress management techniques, such as meditation and yoga, were also incorporated into her treatment plan. This holistic approach allowed for a more sustainable resolution of her symptoms, enabling her to gradually reintroduce previously restricted foods into her diet without adverse reactions. As the patient progressed, she was able to relax her low histamine diet and reduce her reliance on supplements. Dr. Boham notes that the goal is not to keep patients on restrictive diets or numerous supplements indefinitely, but to help them achieve a new equilibrium where they can enjoy a diverse diet without triggering symptoms. The podcast concludes with a reminder that histamine intolerance is a complex condition influenced by various factors, including genetics, 
gut health, hormonal balance, and environmental exposures. Dr. Boham encourages listeners to seek a deeper understanding of their symptoms and to consider a functional medicine approach for effective management.